Hi everyone, Etta here. I have another haul video for you. This one is um, going to be from L3 Waxy Wonders. I had done a video maybe, I think it was last week, I'm not sure, um, talking about it. it was my first haul from them. I was trying them out. I'm still letting them sit and cure for a while, so I haven't actually melted any of them. But when I was um, doing that order, I think I had seen um, that there was going to be a pop-up restock on 430. So on 430, I went ahead and placed an order and it came in today. Um, today is 5-6. So that's actually quite quick, I think, for turnaround. Um, I am super excited to open the box and... Um, go through the different scents that I got. But before I do that, I wanted to take this opportunity because I tend to forget to do this. Um, next week, I believe it is on Monday. Monday being, let's see, 7, 8, 9, 10, the 10th. Um, on the 10th, they are going to have the release of the summer collection. I hope I'm not incorrect with that information. I know they already um, put the flyer out for us on the workstation. So I went ahead and I printed it so that I could kind of show you what's going to be coming out on the uh, summer collection. And there's a lot of great things. I did really well with not buying a lot of stuff in April, but I'm definitely not going to do well in May. Um, I am I am going to be cutting my Scentsy Club quite a bit. I already started. I already removed... I removed a couple of bars that were discontinued from the fall winter that I, I really hope they come back. Um, but I think I've already gotten a few and I, I've gotten to the point where I, I just can't keep getting a ton of wax. And I want to enjoy some of the newer scents and some new things. So I, there are some that I, I will not get rid of, but I've I'm starting to get to the point where I feel like I have to get rid of some. If I've already lost ones that were near and dear to me, um, that they just kind of came out of my club, or maybe once I've mistakenly took one out or something like that. So uh, there's so many bars that are new things that I want to try, the the vendor wax that I want to try. I just I figured, okay, it's it's time. It's time to get serious about cutting some of this stuff. I am going to enjoy picking up some of these things in this month. And I know in June for the um, Bring Back My Bar, there's a good chance I'll pick up some there. I might put those in my club um, unless they do that special that they did for the last one. But anyways, let me get into the summer collection with you. Um, 2021 summer collection, a little piece of paradise. There is a... Um, a warmer, it's called the Mandela Mason Jar Warmer, and it's going to be $50. It's seven inches tall, and it uses a 40 watt Ed Edison bulb. And it's very pretty. Um, let's see if you could see it here. It looks really nice. This picture is not going to do it a lot of justice, but it has the look of a mason jar. And what to me looks like. Um, what I would think, like it looks, I don't know if it's, I don't remember what it looked like, not lit, but it kind of has a pink lick. I can't talk today. A pink look to it. And the design on it has, a re reminiscent for me of like a henna tattoo. That's what it kind of looks like to me. Um, and then they have a mini warmer, which is the glitter teal mini warmer, which will be $20 uses a 15 watt and then they have the pink palm warmer $45 six and a half inches tall and it also uses a 15 watt hmm, that's different okay but here's so here's the, the mini one and then here's the pink palm I think is what I just said it was called yeah pink palm all right and then they show the four scents that will come out four bars and they are called Blue Agave and Melon, and that one says a sweet dessert oasis lush with Blue Agave, Honeydew Melon, and Kiwi. I'm interested to try all of them. Sometimes scent notes, I think, oh, I don't think so, but you just never know until you warm something whether you like it. And I'm finding out that sometimes it's not even about 
just warming it. Uh, I almost feel like I have to warm something throughout the year or something before I really know because case in point, um, I was not crazy about my dear Watson in the last Bring Back My Bar and I have a, a bar of it and I actually put it on the landing upstairs today and I had to go out for a while and I came back home and I walked in the door and I was like, wow, it smells really good. Yeah, my dear Watson. I wasn't crazy about it the first time, but I don't know. I think the temperature of the house, the season, the more uh, we're having like, I think it was like 88 degrees outside today. So it's a much warmer day. I'm enjoying the scent, but it's not in my club. So I will enjoy what I have left and move on from there. Back to the summer collection. I've got too much to say today. Uh, so I apologize for going from topic to topic. Anyways, the next bar, Coconut Daiquiri. That name alone to me sounds awesome. A tropical blend of coconut milk, banana, and vanilla cream that's as refreshing as it is sweet. I'll be very interested to see how that smells um, because when I hear coconut daiquiri, I do not think banana, but who knows, it might be great. Uh, the next one says Fiji Flower. A vivid lay, delicately crafted with pink plumeria and pear blossom, wraps around an air of apple. Okay, that one to me sounds awesome. Uh, I, I do like floral. So the pink plumeria, the pear blossom, which is another floral, and an air of apple. And I've already said that I love apple scents. So that one to me sounds like it's going to be definitely something in my, uh, right up my alley. And then the fourth one says mandarin and mango neck <laughs> mandarin and mango nectar a medley of juicy mandarin mango nectar and peach puree blend into an intoxicatingly fruity fusion all right i those all sound like things i'm going to be okay with especially since now i've gotten to where i like peach more i would have at one time i would have said nope it's got peach i'm not going to like it there's a good chance i'll love it um, I'm actually more scared of the mango nectar because I have a specific scent thought in my head when it comes to mango and I have yet to smell something that says it's supposed to have mango and to me have it smell like what I picture or what I think of when I think of mango. So, but I'm interested to try all of them and see if they go in my club or if I pick up several of them. We'll see. All right, so th also that they're going to be releasing, there's gonna be a body line. Um, there's gonna be a cream shave soap, um, which I think they had last year for the Father's Day collection, I think. Uh, so great for men and women, that's gonna be $12. And let's see, does it tell me what it comes in? Yes, it's only gonna come in the scent Blue Agave and Melon, which again says Blue Agave, Honeydew Melon, and Kiwi. Then there's going to be a hand soap, $6, and the hand soap will come in the blue agave and melon and the coconut daiquiri. So the coconut milk, banana, and vanilla cream for the coconut daiquiri. The Sensi Soak, which is $12, uh, will also come in those same two scents, blue agave and melon and coconut daiquiri. And then there's also going to be a sugar scrub, which is $12. And yep, sugar scrub also comes in those same two scents. So we've got the bar, we've got the warmers, we've got the body line. There's going to be a, um, there are gonna be scent circles and the scent circles probably come in all of them. Yes, yeah, scent circles will come in all four scents. The, there's going to be a fragrance flower. The flower will come in the blue agave and melon and in the Fiji flower. Oh, that Fiji flower sounds like it's gonna be something I'm really gonna want to get in the flower. And then there's also gonna be the Scentsy Pods. And the pods, I'm looking at the little, um, the little list of what comes in what scent. The pods will come in the blue, pink, and the orange. So in the blue agave and melon, the Fiji flower, and the mandarin and mango nectar. 
Oh boy. See, yeah, I've got lots to get for Monday. Hopefully they'll, hopefully it'll all be there when I get in there to purchase. And then there's going to be a buddy clip three pack. So, oh wow. So instead of getting individual buddy clips, you have to get the three pack. Yowza. The three pack is $45. So yeah, normally the little mini buddies or the buddy clips are about $15. So you'd basically just be getting all three of them. And um, there's one called Queen the Pineapple. It's going to be in Pina Colada Cha Cha because you know that they come pre-scented. Then there is Juicy the Berry, which comes in Black Raspberry Vanilla. And in the picture, when I show it to you, I'm sorry, but to me, Juicy the Berry looks like a big grape. And then there's Lula the Avocado, which comes in sea salt and avocado. So I'll probably, personally, I'll probably pass on it because of the fact that it's a three pack. And of the three, I'm not a big Pina Colada Cha Cha fan and I, I don't like black raspberry vanilla. So I would like sea salt and avocado but you can't get them individually. But let me show you the picture in case you are interested in the three pack. Let's see if you could see that. So you see, I think the, the berry guy, I think it looks like a grape, but that's me. All right, then there's also going to be a laundry bundle. The laundry bundle will come in the Fiji flower, which was the one that I said had pink, plumer pink plumeria, pear blossom, and an air of apple. So I definitely want to try that one. There's going to be a three pack of oil for $18. Oh, I'm sorry. The laundry bundle is going to be $40 and it includes a 20 ounce laundry liquid and two of the smaller washer whips, which are 16 ounces each. Um, all right. The beach oils, you get a three pack and the three cents are called bikini martini which says kick back with refreshing pineapple, yummy coconut, and a drizzle of vanilla. Sounds good. Um, sandal season. I've never heard of this flower, but tiara, tiara flower, fruity coconut and sandalwood create the perfect beachy vibe. And then the last one is called totally tropical. Perfectly ripe mango, papaya, and strawberry will have you daydreaming of the tropics. I'm still gonna try to get it because I love to do the oils. And I think I said that the three pack of oil is $18. And then there's going to be a cleaning bundle which will include a dish soap and a counter clean. And it will come in um, only one scent, I believe. Just making sure, yes. It will only come in the mandarin and mango nectar. So you, you can get that. And then there's one last thing. It's called a scented bracelet. And it comes, the little shape on the bracelet that has a butterfly. And you can get it, it looks like in two different scents. One is scented in coconut daiquiri. And the other one is scented in blue agave and melon. And they are $12 each. So the, the charm that the little butterfly is a, por a porcelain charm, it's fragrance, and it says that the scent lasts for 30 days. So let's see if I could show you all the different things. So we've got the oil here at the bottom, the three pack of oil. And then here is the laundry bundle, the cleaning bundle. And then if you could see the charms. They look really cute. Uh, I'm, I'm not a big jewelry person. I mean, I've got my earrings that I never even changed. These, my husband bought these for me on a trip when he was in Chicago one time and I love them. They feel comfortable. So it's the ones I wear all the time. So every now and then I'll change them to something, but I'll, I'll usually wear those maybe for a day and then put these right back in because that's just me. Um, anyways, that is the summer collection. I believe it's launching on Monday at the usual 9.30 to 10.30 Pacific, which in my time would be 11.30 to 12.30 Central Standard Time. So looking forward to that. I'm going to have to schedule myself a lunch break for that. But now I'm going to open up the box from L3 and sniff out these, which I'll have to let sit for, I guess, about a couple of weeks. Um, 
that's hard i mean i'm i'm so used to like when the like the scent of the month comes in or something i like to try to put a bar in like the next day or sometimes even that day i waiting a couple of weeks is not an easy thing to do for a wax addict all right oh lots of um little peanuts in my box all right my little sticker says you're off to great places today is your day your mountain is waiting so get on your way and that's a quote from dr seuss those are nice i like that she put those she puts those in there so let's see she circled and highlighted one that i had two of i guess to make sure that she grabbed two all right, and just a big old um, glittery thank you. So there's my order. I've got a sample right here on top. And sugar wood? I have not heard of that. Uh, okay. I know that most of the time, I think we tend to get wax samples, but... I mean, this does not say wax anywhere, so I'm assuming it is actual candy. Sugarwood, uh, sugarwoodshop.com. It says salted caramels, brown sugar, sweetened condensed milk, butter, corn syrup, vanilla, salt. And oh my gosh, that looks delicious. Big old piece of salted caramel. Oh gosh. Mm. I think I'm going to like that. All right. Let's see if I can get this. I uh, should have gotten something for the little. I didn't know that it, the box was going to be full of those little peanuts. Let's see if I can get some of these out without getting them all over my floor, which I just dumped a bunch on my floor. So, so much for that idea. All right. Uh, I'm trying to do this so I can get to everything. But I appreciate, I definitely appreciate the... Uh, the peanuts in there because that keeps everything protected or keep maybe the wax from breaking probably you know depending on how they how they handle the boxes you know you got a lot of boxes to stack and move and stuff then not necessarily they don't know that it's got wax in it and probably not wax addicts who are moving it so they don't they're not worried about that all right so i think this is the one that i got two of Yes, I got in the puppy packs, I got one called Driftwood Birch Branches Sage. Or Driftwood Birch Branches Sage. It's hard to remember how to say these things. Oh, these are so cute. That's adorable. Um, kind of hard to see some of the designs because of the label on there. But they got, um, I can see there's a little, a little dog, a little um, dachshund. And I used to have a dachshund. I mean, you possibly have seen my dog Zena. She's a Doberman. Uh, but I used to have a little dachshund before her. And see the little dachshund right there? Aw. Cute little designs on that little house. I'm not sure what the circle one is because I can't see it. I can't see all of them. They even have the little um, fire hydrant right here for the dog. <laughs> all right, I'm going to smell this. So I got two of these. Let's see pull out let's pull out the little house all right here it goes oh that's nice if you're somebody who likes wood scents and if you do scentsy and you know they have the woods category this was definitely something that would be in that category obviously driftwood birch branches sage wow that is really nice that is a very, very nice scent. Oh my gosh. I have noticed more and more that I'm, I like the, uh, what was it? I can't even think of the ones from the um, Bring Back My Bar. We had the lavender and lavender and white. Why do I want to think lavender and white woods? I can't even think what they were called, but I really liked the um i love these scents that have like the tree not tree like pine i don't necessarily like those but like what i think of is like the bark of the tree i like 
the birch and some other I can't even I can't even think today but some other scents like that so here's my other little one of the same scent the puppy pack then let's see was this I guess this is considered a puppy pack too let's see yes puppy pack cashmere cedar palo santo and smoked vanilla big old lips down there <laughs> that's cute I'm trying to figure out what this little one is on the bottom it looks like it it almost looks like a snoopy kind of dog he's hard to see um all right let's see i'm gonna stick my nose in the bag first oh wow okay i get um it says cashmere cedar palo santo and smoked vanilla and my initial scent that i pick up is like an espresso like a deep coffee scent and i love coffee scents absolutely i am on the hunt for coffee scents and oh my gosh well so far i think i'm two for two i think this one's gonna be fantastic and I've heard a lot of people say, wait till you, wait till you try the Palo Santo. And oh, yeah, it's, it's a little light when you pull it out of the bag. Obviously you can smell it better in the bag because they've been sealed up and they're all together. I'm trying to look. <laughs> I guess this is a mitten, like a Christmas mitten. Golly, that smells good. Maybe the maybe some of the coffee scent is coming from between the Palo Santo and maybe that smoked vanilla. Oh my gosh. I could absolutely get a big one of that. I mmm. 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 Yeah. I, I, I don't know how how to wait two weeks for that or more. That's it seems almost impossible, but I'll I'll keep trying. Then I have another one let's see is this one nope where's that one at there we go another puppy puppy pack i thought maybe it had a name but no it says vanilla ice cream apple cinnamon and coffee bean there was my one that i got that had coffee in it i love the color i like that one especially this vanilla ice cream i guess maybe the maybe it got a little redness from the apple and cinnamon i don't know or that's just the color she picked i'm not sure all right here we go vanilla ice cream apple cinnamon coffee bean that sounds so good to me that's different good but different i definitely got uh especially taking the big whiff i got the coffee bean I got the vanilla ice cream and I definitely got apple. I don't know that I got cinnamon. Oh, gosh. This is a this is a pretty nondescript just piece of so this would be easier. Again, you could smell it so much better when you smell the bag. I pull them out and I really can't can't smell this one so much. smells really really good though when you're smelling it in the bag oh my gosh I'm definitely gonna let this one sit for at least two weeks that coffee bean is really coming out and I really think the apple will start to come out more and more as I let it sit but it's different um it doesn't smell like by any means but in terms of different with an apple scent it it gives me the same kind of vibe that the um, apple s'mores does. Apple s'mores does not smell like this by any means, but it, it's that apple scent and then just something different about it. The fact that it's mixed with the ice cream and the coffee bean. Gosh, that I like that. I like that a lot. Um, all right, then I got one of these. I know there's a name for these, the ones that are just kind of um 
I can't think of what they're called. Maybe it's on here. Yes, it is. Uh, bougie bars. All right. So this bougie bar is called Crazy Ex-Girlfriend. And it's lollipops, lemonade, and watermelon. And I saw this, and if you've watched any of my videos, I say over and over again how much I love lemon and lime scents. So when I saw that it had lemonade, um, that was that was something that I thought, well, I'll, I definitely want to try that. And when I saw that it had watermelon, I thought, ooh, my oil of watermelon red berries, that might go really well to be melting this and using my watermelon red berries diffusing. Let's see. Ooh. I definitely get the sweetness of the lollipop. Almost as if the lollipop was a watermelon lollipop. But a water, like, um, almost like a dual lollipop. Like, you get some of those ones that you, like, it's a dual flavor. And it's got the watermelon and the lemon. A lemonade. Again, I don't smell it so much when I pull it out. Obviously, it needs to cure. So, put it back in the bag. It's got a very um, Jolly Rancher kind of watermelon scent to it. Not a, not a realistic watermelon, but I wouldn't expect it to have a realistic one when the first note is lollipop. I mean... It might not go with the watermelon red berries, but I'll try it the first time and see how I like it, see if I think it does well. But um, so far I've liked the other ones more. I, I definitely like that one, but um, so far the other ones I thought were better. All right, then I got another bougie bar in Don't Get Burnt. And Don't Get Burnt says Palo Santo, Copper Tone, salty sea air and pink sugar and oh my gosh that sounds amazing those sound like amazing amazing scents the only thing i'd be a little scared about is a salty sea air because i don't tend to like the salty sea air too much but not necessarily from her i just that's not usually a note that i'm too crazy about oh my gosh definitely copper tone that's like yeah that's sunscreen all the way Sunscreen. That's what I get from it. At least, you know, again, it may develop a little more as it cures. But to me, if if you were the type of person who doesn't really like suntan, doesn't like sunscreen, um, then, because, I don't know, when I, and I haven't used copper tone in a gazillion years it seems like but I always remember that coconutty kind of copper tone and I guess maybe I was expecting a, that kind of coconutty smell but I, I get truly I get like a sunscreen smell and again hopefully it's going to develop because really that, that's all I'm smelling I mean I don't know I uh, I don't know that I'd want my house to smell like sunscreen, but um, hopefully it'll develop and kind of deepen and smell better. Maybe if you've had Don't Get Burnt, let me know. Does it stay smelling like a sunscreen or does the Palo Santo and the pink sugar and all that, does it develop and change the scent a little bit? All right. Then what else? I got a mini. Oh, oh this is a full one, huh? Yes, this is a full uh, basic Betty Loaf, and I got it in cantaloupe cotton candy, and I saw that when she had it on the list of things that was going to be in the, um, pop-up, and I thought, oh, please let me get my hands on that one. Obviously, please let me like it, um, but I love cantaloupe scents. I talk about how I miss Dewey or Don't We. I still have a few bars and I'm sparingly going to use them very sparingly. Today I actually did a strawberry rock melon, which has a lot of um, cantaloupe in that one. So I'm like, okay, cantaloupe cotton candy. I doesn't, it's, I would have thought it was going to be kind of an orange color, but it's actually pink. 
So, all right, here we go. Cantaloupe cotton candy. I'm like, is this really cantaloupe? I'm smelling strawberry. Truly, I smell strawberry. And it's pink, right? I would I would have thought cantaloupe cotton candy would have came out orange and it's pink. It smells really good. I mean, even if it's mistaken, yeah, you see, I kind of I kind of think this isn't cantaloupe. Maybe. I don't I, I don't know. I, I've never had the cantaloupe cotton candy, but even the bottom has little red specks in it. Like if, you know, like if you had something that was strawberry and it had like little strawberry seeds kind of thing. I mean, it it's pink. It has little red dots in it. Truly. I, I'm not complaining because it smells really, really good, but I, I don't think this is cantaloupe cotton candy unless the cotton candy turned the cantaloupe into strawberry because really truly this smells like strawberry to me maybe maybe it won't later when it develops maybe it's the cotton candy but i don't know golly this is truly i mean and if it is truly a strawberry scent and not cantaloupe it smells really, really good. And I have said before that I'm I'm not always very big on strawberry scents, but this smells really good. Really, really good. Does not smell like cantaloupe to me, but it's not going to stop me from warming it. I think it's going to do well. I'm going to let it sit, obviously, for a couple of weeks, and I'll be super surprised if when I take it out in a couple of weeks if it smells like cantaloupe to me. <laughs> All right. Then I have two um, scoopables that I picked up. And, oh, yay. I knew she was out of stock on the spoons. I was hoping I got one, and I did. Oh, and it's a very pretty color. I got my little scoopable spoon for the scoopables. And, of course, they were two lemon scents because, again, I love lemon. So the first one is Sparkling Limoncello. And I can't imagine that I'm not going to love this. <sighs> yeah, that one. And I definitely want to let that one sit and let that limoncello really develop because, oh my gosh, I'm not getting a sparkling so much. Maybe as it develops, but I'm definitely getting a beautiful, beautiful lemon scent. All right, and then the last one of the ones that I actually ordered is Lemon Jet Puff Mallow. And let's see. Ooh, I like that one even more than the Sparkling Limoncello, at least on the initial scent. Oh, wow. Um, this one, I would say probably reminds me of squeeze the day with a little more of a marshmallow kind of scent to it so a very a very sweet lemon marshmallow oh because i definitely get the lemon but i don't get any kind of tartness to the lemon although i love tart um i don't get tartness to the lemon i just get a very lemony scent to the marshmallow gosh that is fantastic absolutely fantastic super super happy and then the only thing left in my box she gave me that one piece of candy at the top but then i've got a little bag of samples also oh i got one that i was really hoping to get that um, I said I was really hoping to get because I had seen other people in comments say something about this scent and yay. All right, so I'm gonna pull that one out first because I'm super excited to sniff that one. So I got a little wax melt sample of rosemary mint 
bum bum. And I have, uh, in fact, I was looking at wax today that I wanted to pull to warm. And I was like, you know what? Let me pull it. Because I knew I had an open bar from Scentsy of rosemary mint from that I had opened up in the winter time. And I think it either had one or two cubes left in the thing. It might have only been one cube left. And I'm, I'm holding it because for me, it's not this. I'm not going to do it at this time of the year. But I pulled it specifically today because I was thinking about somebody's comment or whatever on the rosemary mint bum bum and boom boom whatever it's called and I thought oh man I really want to try that scent thank you god Ooh. I I don't I don't necessarily get um the scent of boom boom like the boom boom cream not on this initial smell but for something that you know some of these I said I have to let sit for a little while because I can't really smell it that good especially if I pull it out. I can smell this one after I pull it out oh, that mint is beautiful oh my gosh I'm definitely going to be getting some of this for the uh, winter time that to me is this is going to be a winter time scent for me that smells awesome hopefully i didn't get wax all over my face um then the other wax melt sample is chasing fireflies now this one i have no idea what it's supposed to smell like i don't remember seeing this one before when i was looking through um different wax i don't remember like seeing the scent notes or anything so this will be a came a complete surprise to me because you know like i knew what to kind of expect from the rosemary mint bum bum or at least i had an idea of what i thought it might smell like but chasing fireflies i mean you know unless it smells like citronella i i you know i don't know i have absolutely no idea what it's gonna smell like Did I guess it right? There is definitely a scent in there that I recognize. And it, it might be citronella. That'd be funny. That would be so funny. Um, gosh, I know I recognize the scent. I'm going to have to go back and look for what the scent notes are on Chasing Fireflies because I know I recognize that scent. It's not necessarily a scent that I would uh, run for. Gosh, I know I recognize it. Oh my, when I read the scent description on what Chasing Fireflies is supposed to have in it, I know I'm probably going to read it and go, that's the scent that I was trying to come up with. Oh my gosh. All right. I'm looking forward to at least trying it. I may not like it, but you know, hey, everybody is not going to like everything, right? All right. Ooh. And then my little, um, uh, should be little scoopable, maybe? Although it says wax melt sample, it doesn't say scoopable, is basilisk. Now, again, this is not one that I saw a set description for, but the fact that it's called basilisk. Makes me think it's going to smell like basil, right? And I have said I love basil. Um, at least in my food. Let's see. Oh, that's good. But I thought I smelled a fruit in there. Uh, it's not coming out. So I definitely think this is a scoopable, even though it doesn't say scoopable. I think she tends to put the scoopables in these little cups and I am destroying <laughs> the uh, scoopable trying to get it out. It's not going to come out. I get a little bit, I'm probably getting it on me. I get a little bit of a fruit and I'm trying to think of what. 
That smells really, really good. I don't, I would look it up to see if I could find it. If you don't mind, I am going to see if I can find those two, the basilisk and the chasing fireflies. Let's see if, if by some chance, because I think I saved the thing to her scent descriptions. I don't know if I'll find it quickly, but I'm going to try. All right, let's see. Scents, scent descriptions. Come on. Uh, I'm not sure where it would be if it's in this just regular scent description. All right, basilisk was not in that scent description, and then the other one was chasing fireflies. Let's see if it shows up easily and quickly. I don't want to spend a bunch of time looking for something. And if I could spell, maybe. Uh, charcoal and then cheesecake. So not in that area. So maybe, I don't know, maybe house blends? And I already forgot basilisk was the first one. <clears throat> All right, no basil, yeah, basilisk. What? Basilisk says absinthe, Fuji apple, and snow fairy, which I have no idea what snow fairy is supposed to smell like. Okay, I, I didn't think I picked up apple, and I'm thinking what, I've never had absinthe, so I don't know. I guess that, I guess that's apple. Amazing how you don't necessarily pick up certain scents the way maybe when it warms I'll pick up. And now that I know it has apple, I'm like, well, yeah, I guess I could see that that's apple. I would not have known that originally. I I didn't. You know I didn't cuz I couldn't pick it out. But it's amazing how once you know a scent note you think, oh, yeah, I smell apple. Yeah, I didn't know that it had, had apple. And then chasing fireflies. Let's see if I find that one. That one was a complete shock to me. Chasing fireflies. Here we go. What? Oh, okay. Pink sugar, lavender, and mallow fluff. Okay. I said, unless it has citronella, right? Because I'm thinking citronella, something to fight off bugs, right? Um, and it has lavender. And I've said before that I'm not big on lavender unless it's like a sweet lavender. Um, it, I don't get, like when I say that I usually think bug spray when I smell lavender, I don't get that scent. But now that I know it's lavender, yeah, that's, it's not, I'm thinking because of the pink sugar and because of the mallow fluff, it's sweetening it enough that it's not the bug spray smell that I usually smell. But if those two scents were not there, I think it would be. It's sweetening it enough, just enough to, to kind of kill that deep bug spray smell that I usually get from lavender. Oh my gosh. But I knew I recognized the scent. Okay, so lavender. That's what it was that I was smelling. Didn't know it at the time, but that's what it was. All right, well, that is my order that I got from the L3 Waxy Wonders pop-up sale that she had as of uh, April 30th. And I do know that she still has quite a bit of stuff out there if you're interested. Um, I'm trying my hardest not to go back yet and order more. But who knows? Um, I, I, I think I'm going to enjoy. I did place an order. Thank you, uh, Robert Elder. Um, you suggested, you said that uh, there was a different company that was your favorite. And so I decided to go check them out. They had that um, collection that they were just launching. And I went ahead and placed an order with them. And I placed an order with another um, vendor wax retail person and hopefully those will be coming in soon and I'll do videos for those those also I don't want to say who they are because this one 
this video is centered around L3 Waxy Wonders, and so when I get the other ones, I'll you'll know who that is when I get to them. So anyways, this was my um, haul of L3 Waxy Wonders wax and scubables. And I am super excited about these. I think of the ones that I got, I'm really wondering about that cantaloupe cotton candy. I truly don't think it's cantaloupe. Um, but I am super excited about the driftwood birch branches sage that is amazing and the cashmere cedar palo santo smoked vanilla those two smell super super good um that rosemary mint bum bum that i got a sample of oh my gosh and then obviously my two lemons that i got in the scoopables couldn't go wrong with a lemon scent so Anyways, that's what I got. I hope you liked it. Um, let me know if you've tried some of these. Let me know, especially if you've gotten that cantaloupe cotton candy before. And one, is it supposed to be pink? Two, did you smell cantaloupe or did you kind of smell a strawberry scent? And will it develop into a cantaloupe scent? Or do you think I just didn't actually get cantaloupe cotton candy? I, I don't know. Um, Anyways, and again, the don't get burned. Will that develop past the, what I consider the sunscreen smell? Um, let me know. Interested to hear, because there's so many of you out there that have probably warmed these things over and over again and can give me all kinds of tips and advice on the information that, I, you know, of what to do here. So I look forward to hearing from you. I hope to get to the rest of my comments that I wanted to answer. I've been super busy and I'm going to try to take some time this evening to finish going through my comments because I love having conversations with you. Anyways, hope to see you in my next one. Until next time, have a great day. Talk to you later. Bye.